DHS announces new solutions for TPS. On March 3rd, 2022, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, announced the designation of Ukraine for temporary protected status for 18 months. It's also known as TPS. DHS cited the armed conflict and extraordinary conditions in Ukraine resulting from Russia's attack on that country. The DHS secretary, after a consultation with other U.S. government agencies, may designate a country for TPS if, one, there is an armed conflict preventing the safe return of nationals from that country, two, there have been an environmental disaster in that country that substantially disrupt living conditions, or three, there are extraordinary and temporary conditions that prevent foreign nationals from safely returning. The DHS secretary may designate the country for periods of up to 6 to 18 months and may extend these periods if the country continues to meet the conditions for designation. To qualify for TPS, an applicant from a designated country must meet certain criteria, including physical presence in the United States, since the effective date of the country's TPS designation, continuous residence in the United States since a date specified by the DHS secretary, and admissibility to the United States. A country may be designated for TPS when conditions in the country fall into one or more of the three statutory of the three statutory basis for designation: ongoing armed conflict, environmental disaster, or extraordinary and temporary conditions. This designation is based on both ongoing armed conflict and extraordinary and temporary conditions in Ukraine that prevent Ukrainian nationals and those of no nationality who have last habitually resided in Ukraine from returning to Ukraine safely. These conditions result from the full-scale Russian military invasion into Ukraine, which marks the largest conventional military action in Europe since World War II. This invasion has caused a humanitarian crisis with significant numbers of individuals fleeing and damage to civilian infrastructure that has left many without electricity or water or access to food, basic supplies, shelter, and emergency medical services. How does employment authorization document affect TPS? Individuals eligible for TPS under this designation must have continuously resided in the United States since March 1, 2022. Individuals who attempt to travel to the United States after March 1, 2022 will not be eligible for TPS. Ukraine's 18-month designation will go into effect on the publication date of the forthcoming Federal Register Notice. The Federal Register Notice will provide introductions for applying for TPS and an Employment Authorization Document, EAD. TPS applicants must meet all the eligibility requirements and undergo security and background checks. Biden Administration's TPS Announcements On April 21st, 2022, President Biden announced Uniting for Ukraine, a new streamlined process to provide Ukrainian citizens who have fled Russia's unprovoked war of aggression opportunities to come to the United States. This represents a key step towards fulfilling the president's commitment to welcome Ukrainians fleeing Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Other potential immigration relief options, regardless of whether they are eligible for TPS, Ukrainians may qualify for existing pathways to enter or remain in the United States. Some forms of temporary relief are discussed below. Special student relief. Most international students enter the United States on F-1 visas which allow for temporary admission to pursue full academic study. According to DHS, there are currently 2,616 F-1 students from Ukraine in the United States. Generally, F-1 students must maintain a full course of study and may only work under limited circumstances. In some situations, however, the DHS secretary may suspend certain regulatory requirements related to full-time study and employment for students from countries experience conflict, natural disaster, or other emergent situations. This suspension is called Special Student Relief, or SSR. Special Student Relief. On April 19, 2022, DHS added Ukraine to the list of countries for which SSR is available. In addition to SSR, individual F-1 students may apply for permission to work off campus if they face severe economic hardship due to unforeseen circumstances. Extensions and changes of status. Some Ukrainians who are in the United States in non-immigrant, i.e. temporary, statuses may wish to extend their status past the current period of authorized admission. Eligible individuals can apply to DHS for an extension 
or change of status. DHS has discretion to excuse delayed applications when the delay is due to extraordinary circumstances beyond the applicant's control. If you want to discuss your company's situation, go to online visas and set up a strategy session. If you want to stay up to speed on the ever-changing world of immigration by subscribing to online visas, like, share, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm John Veely, CEO of Online Visas, the intelligent immigration platform where we deliver dreams.